YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy MBM, and I am him. Back with another banger, and today, man, for those who are having problems when you are bouncing down your tracks and it doesn't sound to you how it sounded when you were mixing it, I got a trick for you and a solution. I am gonna show you how to print your track out so that way when you bounce your song down, it sound the way you heard it. All right, so, but before we dive into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, tap that bell notification that'll keep you in tune with all the latest content I drop. Leave a comment below, that helps with the YouTube algorithm to get this channel growing and going. Without further ado, let's tap into this tutorial, super quick and easy, so let's get it. All right, man, so let's go. So this is what we are doing. So we wanna print our track, so pretty much, you know, I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up to where you can make it default for you, so all you gotta do is just right click something and get it going. So first thing you wanna do is, what we're gonna do, let me get my mouse back over here. Let's go up to song, and then you wanna go up to song setup, and then from there, you wanna go to audio, IO, and then you wanna go to outputs. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new, uh, a new output. So all you wanna do is just add, st add, add stereo, boom, and then take sub, and then name it print. See, so we're gonna name it print. And then you can double click off these because we won't need it, all right? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit okay. Boom, now we can set up our print track. So what you wanna do is up in here, you wanna hit, you wanna right click, and then you wanna add a stereo track. I mean, add a audio track, but stereo, boom. So let's just bring this down. Okay, so now we have our print track. Let's name it print. So this is our print track. And now what we want to do is I want to create another track so that I can hear this track because I believe you can't hear it, but we'll see. So now we just want to arm the track. Boom, we arm the track. Uh, turn it to, uh, you want to turn it to stereo. Make sure you turn it to stereo. All right, now I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to mute my voice so we can print it. Hold on, man, I'm on the wrong one, bro. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, wait a minute. Let's mute that print track. I got re I just needed that up. I didn't need record going. Let's delete this. Oh, I forgot to show you this. This is, now this is my fault, y'all, all right? This is my fault. Go over to the I right here. My apologies, y'all. You want to go over to I. And then on your print track, what you're going to do is your main, you're going to click on main. You're going to turn this to print. Boom. Now, on your input, you're going to take this and go to outputs and then turn this into main. Boom. Now, now we got our print track, man. My bad, y'all. You know, we all make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? So now we're going to hit record and then we're able to hear our track being printed. So I'm going to mute myself and let's print this track. Now, how did I do this? I got to take these uh, records off. I'm just keeping y'all here extra longer. So here we go again. I would have started this video over. I ain't going to even lie to you, but we're going to keep going. So let's hit it again. So there we have our print track. So let me silence and uh, let me hit uh, solo and see if it play. Okay, so you can't hear it. So what you're gonna do is when that happens, all you're gonna do is just add another stereo track. Boom. Uh, this is the stereo track we added right here. So all we wanna do is make sure it's in stereo. So just drag this down one time and then hit solo and then you'll hear your track.
Now you got a track that sounds the way you hear it when you're mixing. So therefore, let's just say for one, let's delete this and I turn on ozone. Now I'm not gonna talk when I turn on ozone because it makes a delay for me, but not for you. So I'm gonna turn on ozone and then we can look at our printed track. So just for instance, if you finish mastering your song and you wanna print it and bounce it, then you can do that. Check it out. Okay, so so then what we're going to do is we're just going to drag it down to our track that we created, the one that we created so that we can hear it, solo it. Let me... Uh See what I'm saying? So now you have a printed track that you can bounce down instead of bouncing down the uh, regular uh, mix down. You can bounce down a printed track and you'll be able to hear what you heard in your mix and it'll make things easier for you and better. So I hope I explained to you guys uh, the easy way. I know I messed up a couple of times, but I did fix it for you. Like I said, I would start at this over, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't. But uh, it's your boy NBM. I hope you learned something, man. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Take care. It's your boy in the mouth.